afternoon lovely babes and it's so great to be with you again um through um a timeline angle i'm just going to be talking about um a basic analogy of the invalidity of religious beliefs yeah you know we're going to be checking times through some scientific research about time when the universe started when the planet started when human beings started and you know comparing this to when the bible started and and you know bringing out some facts and you know you know letting us see the truth so now um according to scientific research the universe has been around for more than 13.8 billion years yeah that's uh, let's just stay simple you know at least something we can all relate with, relate with is um scientific research and now if i'm if i was coming from a very more spiritual angle <laughs> then uh you might be claiming that as unfounded since not many can relate to that but now we can all relate to scientific science is telling us that our um, the universe has been around for more than 13.8 billion years. Now, the Earth, at the, that, that's the Earth we, we, we inhabit as humans, was also said to be around 4.5 billion years old. Okay. Now, generally, all other species of humans have existed for more than 2.5 billion years. But our own species, that's, the, that's Homo sapiens, originated around around 300,000 years ago from Africa. Okay, you could you can do your research. I just don't want you to believe anything I'm telling you here. I mean, you can also do your research. That's the beauty of it. Now, now let's come down a little bit. The Bible, which which is the history of a particular sect and nation that is if they ever existed, <laughs> came less than 2,000 years ago. But now I want to be generous and give it six thousand years, uh, because according to the Christian belief, they believe the 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 um, the, the world started about six thousand years ago, and um, which I find ridiculous, anyways. But let's give it six thousand years as the origin of the Bible. And now um, the sister book, which is the Quran, also came less than one thousand years ago. But let's also be generous. I want to be generous and give it six thousand years. If this is the case, then what happens to those who have had existed since 294,000 years ago? Do you understand what I'm trying to say? If um, human beings, a species of human beings, Homo, homo sapiens, started 300,000 years ago, and the Bible or all these religious books, especially the Bible and the um, Quran, which is more prevalent in Africa or in, in Nigeria, where I come from. If they are just say, let's just give them 6,000 years. Now, what happens to those humans that had existed before the advent of these books? That is just that has, uh, had existed 294,000 years before the advent of the Bible and Quran. What is their fate? Your religious heaven or hell of damnation? Or probably some other books or doctrines will be written or developed to determine their fate or judge them specially? Think about it. Just think about it. Food for thought. Now, all these religious ideas and doctrines are just too unfounded, pure delusions, and recent, very, very recent creations of mankind to control and subdue mankind, no more, no less. African spirituality is the way we Africans had always connected and communed with the Creator and the creation before the colonial predators forced on us their religious culture and lies that was fabricated through the various economical councils from the councils of Nicaea, the council of Ephesus, Osborne Confession and the Chalcedon Council and so on. As Africans, the concept of the biblical heaven and hell is not in our culture until the advent of those religions. But we understand and know reincarnation, which is the reality that spells out the unconditional love of the Creator and the universe 
in giving everyone a fair chance to evolve infinitely into their divine selves ultimately. Let's inculcate back our African spirituality of oneness with the Creator, with nature and all life, and leave these very recent foreign religions of lies and of deceptions that was used to kill, steal, dehumanize and enslave our ancestors behind. Those same ideals we should still use till date, even though it's now self-perpetuating as a result of brainwash of hundreds of years and generations. If we do not leave these religions behind, the repercussions will be so grave and we will continue to be enslaved perpetually and will never achieve our real and full potentials as Africans and as human beings and beyond, here and beyond. You might ask why, you might ask that, why am I so bothered about all of this? It's so simple, cause no one is truly free until we are all free. Time to wake up folks. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel for more enlightening videos. Thanks. Bliss and ecstasy.